Good morning. Well, it's a lovely day for planting and all the troops have arrived to put out the call. We're all here. Just me and Nick. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so I'm going to do a quick stone pick. I've been putting out the bags of compost. Basically, we're going to lightly rotivate the whole like kind of terrain where we're planting it's just going to make it easier to just pop the plants in rather than digging holes for all the little plants so i'm going to get on with that nick's getting the digger running as we speak and he's going to scrape away any mounds so it's all level and nice then we're ready to start putting stuff in the ground So unfortunately the water situation is a bit dire just until next week and then we can sort it out. But finally the old swimming pool is filling with water. It's the first time it's happened. I just came down there one day, noticed it half full and it's like, it's a good meter, 1.5 meters deep at one end. For just five pound a month, you can help a guy like Nick who has to travel down the forest every day for water. We've got no plantless plants here. I think them ones were plantless plants. Right by your foot. There you Yeah. But there were plantless plants about two weeks ago. But they're now not plantless. Yeah. Come on, tell you who? Eh ben, you're them! You've had the chance today, hein? Oui. Alors, au moment de l'incendie, le bureau de l'autre côté, c'était intact. Sauf que le feu n'a pas été. Vous le lirez bien. Oui, je pense ça. Le feu n'a pas été éteint correctement. Et donc, ça s'est propagé. Mmh. Et c'est, je crois, le lendemain ou sur le lendemain que les pompiers ont été obligés de revenir. Malheureusement, tout avait brûlé. Ah, okay. C'était sur cette aile-là que ça a démarré. Oui.
So another person that's been working in the background behind the scenes is a local historian who we've just seen here. Now, she's been, she's really dedicated to Chaumont and she's been looking for anything locally in the archives that relates to Chaumont, anything fresh that we haven't seen. So she was the one who found the plans. Now, these are kind of simple plans that were drawn I think by the gendarmerie and the pompier after the fire um, but it does have every stage of the chateau what each room was used for so that's like super helpful just to see there's a few staircases that I didn't know were there and you know it gave me kind of the bearings of how they use a place back then so they're really cool but a cool thing is that there is the report. So this is the report after the fire. They obviously interviewed the owners and the people that were there, got their story. Um, it's something obviously I've got to read properly through, but she did say that it says um, it's highly suspected that the fire was caused by a cigarette that was left by the wife of the owner. She was the only person in the chateau at the time. It says she heavily smoked and the fire started above my head in what was their dressing room. So, I mean, I've yet to read it to see if that's her account or that's, you know, a presumed account. But kind of knowing it wasn't a sinister fire is quite reassuring, you know. Um, still obviously a shame. They've interviewed many people in this document and I kind of get this translated and tell you if there's any new information that I didn't know about. So yeah, and there's a couple of pictures of the chateau on fire by the fire department. They're only tiny little Kodak snapshots, so they're not very good, but I'll get them kind of high resed up and that'd be a really cool thing to see. Anyway. That is it. It's been a pretty slow and steady day getting everything ready for planting, but I have got helpers tomorrow of all ages and varieties. And I will see you guys tomorrow.